Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? I hope everybody's day is well. I hope you guys are keeping that positivity up like I keep telling you. But anyway, guys, as you can see today, we are playing City Skylines. And there's just something about these games, man. They, they get addictive, like... City Sky, like, this is, like, I mean, I've had the game for a while. I just never really played City Skylines like that till I bought it a couple months ago. Because me, I'm, I was always, always a Sim City person. But that last Sim City, I don't know. It just, it wasn't all that good. Like, this game right here is, like, ten times better than Sim, the last Sim City in, in my opinion you know I've been I've been hooked on this one ever since you know they just I mean don't get me wrong there's like things about last sim city that I actually liked like you know uh, you could have a bunch of cities on a different you know on the same piece of land and kind of connect them all but you, you couldn't make it boom like it wasn't like no you know just it, like the cities wasn't big enough you know like they didn't like see the outline of the city here like in CM City that was it once you filled that outline up that's it like there was no more city like if you wanted to put something new in you had to tear a building down and do all that and like this game right here you know, for those who haven't played City Skylines, like, you can buy this land out here. So, you can expand the city. And that right there just kind of, like, blew my mind. And I've been hooked on it ever since. But anyway, as you can see, I've already pre-did a little bit of the city. Uh, kind of got it up and running. You know, I gave it a name. I named it Raytown. And, yes, there is a meaning behind that that uh, I might explain later. But anyway, yeah, uh, you know, so I'm going to try to make it a forestry city, you know, try to keep the dirty industry out and we're going to build it up and make it pop. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to take all this over right here, but first we're going to fill this little box in, then we'll expand, you know, so. Hey, we get started here. What's going on here? Was well, people out of work? What does that say? Not enough educated workers. Okay, so I don't know if we have another school available, do we? Oh yeah, we got a high school available. University ain't available yet, but high school available. Uh, we just don't have enough money to buy it right now. That's okay. We we starting out. And uh, we're going to fix a few problems we might be having here. And we're going to continue to build it out. And I see the plan is to kind of put the uh, commercial buildings here in the center. And then we're going to like had a residential kind of like surrounding it. Because the one thing I learned on this, it, there needs to be more residential than anything else. So that way, you know, everybody has a job and, you know, the shops are making money because there's more people in the city than the commercial or the industry. So that's that right there is the plan right there, right now. And we got our water up. You know, that's enough right now. We got the coal power plants. Which, as we advance, we're going to get rid of that. Because look how it's polluting, man. It's done killed all the trees around there. Yeah, I see we got some not enough work. See right here? Not enough workers. So, we got to bring in more people so we can fill these positions right here. Or, of course, they won't stay. You know, thing, if you ain't got enough workers, then, you know, you kind of got to shut down. Because you ain't got enough worker, everything is late. You know, your orders are late getting out. Your product is late getting built or whatever. And as you can see right here, we got the sewage pipe. Uh, 
Now, at first, I did have it down here because I wasn't sure which way. I thought the water was flowing this way. And that wouldn't have been good because the water actually is flowing this way. And the water pump right here, so people would have been pretty much drinking their own piss and shit. And we can't have that. You know, it makes people sick. So we put it right here for right now. Uh, eventually, we're going to get rid of it. See how it's just going on down the river? Yeah, that's that. That's the way you want it right there. So anyway, let's uh, let's get into it here. Um, I wanted to put some, like, fill this area with parks. This right here is the school. And we might want to increase the budget on it a little bit. If we can. Did I? Wait a minute. I gotta make sure I hit the right button here. Oh. Yeah, I didn't hit the right button. That was it. Okay. So he here, here. School. I like to keep people well educated. Universities with high budgets can teach more students. So let's go ahead and give them a funding boost. And just a little bit. Like I said, we only have what nineteen hundred six like one thousand nine hundred sixty two people here so we don't need to give them that much you know and over here we got some dirty industry look it's tearing up my trees man I can't have that man I love my trees and we got the uh, landfill sitting right over here too so oh okay yeah, the train track is way up there. You, we ain't got up there yet, so we can't put no train station in the end. But that's okay. We're just starting out, so we really don't need that. We need to build it up a little bit more before we put anything else in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get it rolling. These things are here get on my nerves, though. It's just always, what is this, like Twitter or something? The thing, it's always popping up. Somebody's always complaining or something. I don't read what this is. What do you say? What does one right here say? I'm looking for an apartment or a house in the city. Anything will do. Please PM me further. Now, how am I supposed to PM back? I don't even think I can do that. Man, you know, get hop in your car and ride around. Do like normal people do. Find somewhere to live. Acting like he's special, like I'm supposed supposed to find him a, a apartment or a house or something, man. Well, get out of here, man. Nah. So and uh, see here, right now I don't really haven't did much with the commercial section. Don't really need many right now. We working on filling this area up, finishing it up with the housing. So I'm gonna take the houses back to this line right here. So that way, when I do expand this way, like the houses won't be sitting on the interstate and we'll feel these are trees right here. So that's the plan. Oh, man, it's getting dark. I won't be able to see to do nothing. Let's see. So we need houses right now. So let's go ahead and lay some houses down here. And I know right now I have everything kind of in a straight line. But I have a plan though. So this is how I start off doing it. This side will be in a straight line and when you get to the bigger suburbs, that's when the designs and stuff will come in with the roads and stuff like you'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I got a plan. Don't worry y'all, I do have a plan. It, the whole city won't look like this. Like where everything is just straight. I'm just doing it right now. You know, th this is just the way I play it. You know, I kind of start out like that. And, you know, just to kind of get it built up a little bit. And uh, see, another thing is sometimes you can't really tell if you're doing it straight. And as you can see right here, when I place this road, uh, yeah, see, it's not straight like I like for it to be straight, straight. And see how it's doing right here. That's how you know it's not straight. So I think I'm going to take this side right here and come out with it some more. It just kind of throws me off when everything is straight. Come down to 
connect to the main strip right there. So let's fill this side in right here. Let's see what we can do. Slow density. High density. Those are like apartment buildings, but we ain't got that yet. We ain't at 7,000. So, which I probably saved this area right here for high density, like apartment buildings and stuff. You know that's that's one of the thing that kind of sucks i mean i know i could uh from the main menu click a button and you know make them all available but you know i kind of like to play like this too because like you know like this right here like i could go ahead and put that right there but now i gotta wait till i reach seven thousand so let's go ahead and get the seven thousand that way we can build it out and place those you know where I need them at and plus the apartment buildings will bring more people in the city because there will be more housing available and you can pack them all in one building let's see here uh, I don't know if I want to put any I probably won't put I probably put trees right here because that's just too close to the interstate so let's go ahead and fill that in I'm sitting here talking, man. Let's go ahead and fill it in. There we go. Yeah, let's see here. There's some more like park areas around the school and trees and stuff. Hmm. hmm, hmm. Let's see what we can do. The only thing about that, it costs money, and uh, we got to pinch our pennies right now, man. So we're going to hold off on that. Because I'm probably going to put a couple more parks in around both schools. Got to keep people well educated, man. man. You got to keep them well educated. So we're going to do that. And then we'll go to this side over here. And kind of fill these in a little bit. See, that's going to throw the road off because this side is crooked. Let's see, watch. It's going to throw it off. See how it threw it off? Uh, we'll fix that in a minute. Like, I like it straight, see how it's crooked. Yeah, that was my bad. I can't tear it down now though, because people already live in there, so let's. Go ahead and finish build, uh, building this up. Alright. And see how I got that? I like to keep it as close as I can. Like I know this side right here. See how it's got that gap in the middle. Nah, man, I don't like the gap in the middle. Like, I got to pack as many people in here as I can. So, every little bit of piece, every bit of space counts, man. So, let's see here. Yep, see how I did? See, no space right there. No little space in the center. That's how I get down. That's how it does it, see? Right there. Use up every little bit of space you can. See, I'm probably going to have to fund the school. I'm probably going to have to fund everything more now. But that's okay. Because these people are going to bring more money in. They're going to do more shopping and pay more taxes. And that's more money for us to build the city up. Let's go ahead and let that develop. This is already developed. And these little... Wait a minute. Somebody... Oh, they ain't got no water. 
let me get them some water right here. Oh, I didn't put enough pipes up here. Okay. And normally with the pipes, what I do is I run them along the road if I can. That normally works. Yep, there we go. Now I just gotta take care of the not enough people. See, not enough workers, so they should take care of that. Well, oh, people coming in already. Damn, it's like they waiting to come in. Waiting for us to zone more, okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to uh, take a break from that side. And we're going to switch it over to this side right here. And kind of go ahead and fill all this out. Well, fill it out as much as we can because you can see the indicator going down, down, down. The commercials is going up. There we go. Boom town. There we go. We're getting it up. Recreational use. Okay. Hey, man. Hey. I'll approve it. I'll approve it. You know. Legalize and I'll advertise. That's how I get down. You legalize it, I'll advertise it. No problem. Uh, yep, I left a gap. But that's just because I left a gap over here. And I try to keep the roads together. And they have no power over there. So let's go ahead and get them some power too. Like that. Let's see. No, that's too close. Yeah, see, I believe I'm going to leave a. Oh, no, there we go. Like I said, no gaps, man. No gaps. I don't like gaps. And we'll have this one coming down this way. All right, Earl Wood. I got time to talk to you, man. I'm trying to build city up. There we go, right there. We got cram in there, man. We can't leave gaps. Every little bit, every little bit of space counts, man. I'm telling you. Let's fill that in so we can get rid of them power lines. Let's get some water over here. Uh, what's going on with the power? I bet it ain't enough power. Oh, that's hooked up. Is everything hooked up? Hmm, let me see. Let me check. Operating at oh, capacity. Okay, so what's going on? Let's take a look at the power grid here because somebody's not getting power. I don't think it's enough power. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not enough power.
Electric and 50, yep. Production is 40. I know, I just looked up there and seen that. I know, I know. It's late at night, I'm sleepy, okay? But yeah, right here we go. See, the consumption is 50, and we only pushing out like 40. So let's see if we can increase the budget. See if we can push out a little bit more power. There we go. So let's go ahead and give them a little funding boost. Keep an eye on that budget, though. See if that'll take care of the problem. Oh, uh, yeah. Somewhat. I mean, my factories are still out of power. So we might have to give them a little bit more of a boost. Yep, yeah, 51 and 45. Yep, yeah, we got to give them a little bit more of a boost. Alright, hold on. Let's see if it took care of it. Nope. <laughs> 48 and 51. I'm going to have to fully fund them. Obviously, because... Giving them a little bit of a boost ain't working. So let's fully find it and see what that does. No, it's still one off and they are fully funded. So now I'm going to have to find an alternative. Here we go. $80 a week costs $6,000. So let's go ahead and put some windmills in to kind of help them out. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the windmills. So I put them over here or over here. Let's look at the airflow. Normally it would tell you the airflow. Right there. Five, six, six, five. Let me see here. Three, four, five, six, three. But that just won't do. A little bit more. What about the water ones? Let's look and see how much the water ones are produced. 20 okay see that's what we're talking about 1920 they $12,000 so two of them would be well we only need one right now because we right at it 52 and 50 so yeah let's just get one right now and we can put some more in there we go see it's working that take care of it Yep, there it go. Now we got power. And we got people that's still out of water. Oh, it's the new area we I put in. Okay. I just hadn't got to draw on the pipes yet. I was trying to get people power. Might have to give them a little bit of funding. Is something on fire? Is that what I'm saying? Or is it just, just no fire cover? No, something's on fire. Man, with a fire department. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to give them a funding boost too. Man. Here we go. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. We kind of gonna have to fully fund them because that's the only one in the city right now. Probably the same for the police department too. So let's see if that take care of the problem. 
Uh, somewhat. Is I mean, this there's still nothing up here, and I don't want to put in another fire station. But the city is pretty well taken care of. Let's go ahead and put in, uh, yeah, we got the money. So let's go ahead and put in another fire station right here. And we'll turn the funding down on that one for right now because we just need it for that area. Oh, uh, I don't think. Yeah, let me turn it down. See what that do. They might be all together. Yeah, I think they're all together. Shouldn't be like it. They should split it up for different fire stations. Like this one to get this much funding, and but we'll we'll turn it back up. That's fine. Ain't no problem. We can afford it. There we go. Let's see what that does. Okay. Alright, now we're fully covered. Let's check out the police station. It ain't covered up here, but... Uh, crime is low anyway, so we're good for right now. And let's check out the hospitals. Heal capacity, 100, so... It's only two sick citizens, so that's uh, uh, about right. But still, though, you know, if people die, then that's going to take away from the population. So you got to keep them healthy. But you know what? I think there's enough money in the budget to fund them. Give it a little boost. Here we go. All right, let's see here what we got. Policies. Let's look at some policies. Power usage. Energy conservation is important. And the best way to do it is by installing energy meters on the building. To moderate, reduce electricity consumption. I, mean, I got to pay five cents a building. No, we don't need that right now. That's cool. Cut those showers time in half. Uh, install no water million on a building unless they're going to be paying me unless I'm measuring how much they're using and charging them for it smoke detector disturbance make citizens live lives safer and the fire department's job easier now why would I want to make their job easier I'm paying them okay there's no point in paying them to make their job easier. Okay, that's that's why people have to get paid for work because it's hard. But by, inst by installing smoke detectors, a building, you know what? This is a good one to have. So I think we're gonna do this one fast in a building. Pet ban. See, tired of watching your steps to avoid animal droppings. Banning pets is a sure way to get rid of that problem. Then again, you might be killing. Yeah, see, no, I'm not going to do that. Recycling is a big part of the environment. Sustainability also helps keep the neighborhood looking tidy with the small investment in recycling. Technology and the waste containers can make your city neat. It slightly reduced garbage accumulation. Slightly reduced tax income. See that word slightly. Smoking ban. Oh nope. Make your parks and plot the envy of community by increase land value. Increase the parks. 
they're, they're good right now. Got to reach 7,000. Allow and recreational use of controlled substances. You know what? Slightly reduced crime rate. You know what? That's about, yeah, I, th I think that's a pretty good one. School's out. The citizens would prefer working over education. And only a small portion of eligible citizens will go to study. Wait a minute. Citizens prefer... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so we got some policies in here. Oh, we got a bus depot. Well, the city ain't big enough for a bus depot yet, man. Oh, and we're losing money. See, uh, uh, uh. See, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. That's alright. Uh, I'll knock these down real quick. Because I'm going to need that space. See? Look. Look at all that space. Oh, I don't need that. Do I need that much space? Yeah, let's put a road through there. Oh. Well, you uh, want us to sit it right here, but I guess we could do it about right here. I wonder if I put it right here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we gotta pack them in here, man. We gotta get some more people in here. We lose some money. Man, I need all the space I can get. There we go. All right. There we go. Well, we back up twenty-eight dollars, but we making money and not losing it. Yep, it took care of the employee problem too. The not enough workers problem. It took care of that. Oh yeah, so we got it going good now. Yeah. And I'm gonna figure out the road situation here. Put a few more shops and stuff along here. Not many, because we got to keep the residential. We got to have it more residential than commercial. Up, oh, see, nope, that's not going to work already. That big gap. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do it like this. See, that gap. See that? Got to pack a bin there, man. There we go. Right there. That's perfect. That's the way I liked it. Right there. it we'll just connect all of them keeps telling me toll roads I don't even think no I don't own none of the interstate right now so I can't put a toll road out there but it would be good to have got some extra income I mean look at all them cars right there having to pay the toll
Okay. Because for the simple fact that we will be upgrading some of these buildings, I try not to build nothing around them. I try to leave enough space. So let's. Throw some commercials on right there. And right here. There we go. And I'll put a roadblock in here so that way I know how much space I'm gonna leave. Which that's probably not big enough, but yeah, that should be good right there. And if when I upgrade the buildings, like if it don't fit in that spot, then I'll just move it and put commercials in there. Oh, wow. They they came in pretty fast. I wouldn't expect them to come in that fast, but dang, okay. There we go. Let's give them some water. That might not be enough. There we go. It's coming together. It's coming together. We got a little bit done. Let's see here. You know what? Let's go ahead and fill this in. Let's go ahead and fill that in. At least put roads right there just so I can mark where I'm going to put everything. That's how it does it. There we go. Okay. I ain't gonna fill them in quite yet. Here, that's what we was working on for the knees in. Make sure everybody's got water. Yep, everybody's got water. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and run pipes through the new section here. That way, I don't forget. That would make a pr wait a minute. What is all these? What is going on now? What is this? Not enough educated workers. See, this is why I didn't want to put commercials in in the first place. One of these is going to make a nice screenshot. You know what? Let's do it on the main strip. See how that goes. Right here on the main street. I can't get down there. Oh, there we go. use this as a screenshot and make this shot. Let's see if I can give me a second everybody let me see if I can use it as a screenshot. Alright. Maybe that would have made a nice screenshot. Get like a view of the city. 
You know what? I think that's gonna make, that will make a better screenshot right here. You can't see all the buildings out there, but. But uh, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. You know, I know it's, it was a little bit more laid back than the GTA Bad Boys episodes, but, you know, different game. You know what you're going to do. You know, uh, I hope you guys liked this, enjoyed it. If you liked it, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day.